We put together this like kind of crew. It's closer, almost like a design collective or something in, in Miami. It involves like a lot of tech and gaming, game developers, and uh, there's some AI in there and a lot of VFX. And it's kind of this like interesting mix of people that like are basically experimenting and trying to develop this whole idea of maybe like what comes after a normal films. It's like an a, a interesting lab, creating kind of like new aesthetic, you know, just like different ways of telling stories and narrative. Things that are more immersive than kind of like traditional, it's like uh, more experiential. And I mean, it's anything from filters and games to, uh, and we'll have things that are, you know, st streaming and Twitch and, and, um, and then obviously leading up to uh, features or, you know, uh, feature-like films. Agrodrift is like the very first, it was the very first kind of concept and kind of uh, playing around with the medium, just kind of like <clears throat> seeing where we could go. And we weren't even really talking about it in terms of it being a movie. It really, no one even really knew it was a film until I was just kind of like, I think it, you know, it works as a film, but it's more of like an attempt of like what kind of comes after film. The thermal, it was really, you know, using thermal cameras, obviously, I'm, always love color and like this idea of like hyper color and things like carved out of co color and, and movies that are extremely like vibe based, you know. And so uh, I, we started experimenting with a, a base layer of thermal. There's a lot of other things. There's on top of it, you know, incorporating VFX and AI and all these other things. But uh, at, at, its, at its core, we use these cameras. I, I just, I, they were just very beautiful, the images and strange and kind of uh, very kind of liquidy and vibey and it just seemed right. It was also like kind of capturing like heat and, and souls and for this specific film it was really a big part of it. Travis is just like I, someone I'd worked with before uh, on other projects and he just felt perfect for the character Zion and just like he, he just was, it was like the right kind of, you know, it, it, it made perfect sense for this film. Putting something like this in a kind of traditional film setting maybe is more provocative, but it also just, it feels right too, because it's just a, a kind of, it's just the development of the language, which is new, which is like something uh, that's like, it feels, it feels right in this setting, you know, so, um, and it's fun. It's like fun to see, like, you know, get the, get all the, the reactions. It's, it's wild. Midnight, I'm like the 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 bastard, the redheaded stepchild. The, I, I'm o, I'm only allowed out at midnight. Yeah, my the, I, they only program my films like at, when normal people go to sleep. It's uh, it's it's funny how that works. <laughs>